All right, so now I'm going to use the quad draw to quickly create a shape. So I'm going to zoom in right here, and I'm going to click on quad draw. I'm working on the front orthographic view. And again, it's just a matter of creating my points first. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and then I'm going to hold shift and click on it. I'm going to go to the side and do one, two, and I don't have to do the other two because I have this edge right here and this edge has two points. So when I use shift, boom, I get this. If I was to hit three, I can see this smooth preview. Now I'm going to zoom in and notice that with three or in one, when I have my mouse on the outside of the polygon, I get the quad draw tool. But if I move it inside, I get this four way arrow. This four way arrow allows me to move my newly created points like this. So we don't have to select the vertices. We don't have to select the move tool. We move these vertices as we go along. So I'm going to hit three and I'm going to go, okay, well, I need to move this further up. Let me undo this, but I'm going to leave it here for now. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to extend this by holding the tab key. So if I hold the tab key while I'm on one edge, I can extend this. So I'm going to click and drag. I'm in three, so I'm in smooth preview. And if I do a tap and drag and then move this polygon to the right hand side, boom, they snapped right here in the middle. Again, now I can move my little vertices by not selecting the cage, but going where the vertices are and quickly moving them. I don't have to select those vertices. I don't have to go to the move tool and then move the vertices. I can do this manually really, really, really fast. Again, do not select the cage. Go to the smooth preview. So here I am. Okay, I'm going to move this up again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold tab so I can extend this edge right here. So I'm going to extend one edge. I'm going to extend the other edge and snap it. And I'm going to do another extension right here, another extension right here, snap it. And again, I'm going to deselect tap. I'm going to go to this corner and I'm going to move my little vertices right here. If I want to see my image plane, I'm going to go to X-ray mode, zoom in, and again, move. Don't move the uh, cage because you cannot grab the cage, but you can grab the little vertices on the smooth version. I can hit one. And now this is easier to grab the guys right here, but I'm going to hit three because I want to work on smooth preview. So again, make sure that you go to the corner until you see the little circle. Let's see if I can zoom in like so. And notice when I move my mouse on top of the corner, right, where the vertices would go, I get this little red circle. And that's the little circle that we want to move so we can move the uh, vertices. Again, I'm going to move this guy right here. And let me zoom out. And I'm going to continue. I'm going to now do a different technique where I'm going to go to one and I'm going to hold tab. And I'm going to extend my polygon right here. And I'm going to move this corner right here. And I'm going to do this other side, holding the tab, extending it, make sure that you snap it, and I'm going to move this corner right here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the control key so I can bring my insert edge loop tool, and I'm going to insert an edge. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this first. So I'm going to hold tab, right? Extend this. I'm going to extend it, let's say, right here. Move my little corners, and I'm going to hit three because I want to see what it looks like. Okay, obviously this is not working because if you go to one, notice I have a gigantic quad that is trying to contract. And I have this little edge right here, which is trying to stay in this place. So if I hit three, notice that this long edge is pulling this short edge. So what I need to do, I need to split this guy right here. And we're going to do that in quad mode by holding control and then just moving. I'm just hovering on top of this face. Once I get to the place that I like, I'm going to click on it, right? And I'm going to hit three to see the preview mode. And now I'm going to go to those corners and I'm going to start moving my corners like so. 
Again, I'm not grabbing the black edges. I'm grabbing the uh, intersections of the blue lines, which is my smooth version. So again, tap. I'm going to extend this edge right here, like somewhere right here. I'm going to move this guy right here. Now I can quickly polish this shape by moving those points using the quad draw. If I feel like I need more detail right here, control, add another edge loop, and I'm gonna go to this corner, move them down, and there you have it. Let's finish this corner right here. I'm gonna hold tab, extend this. I'm gonna go right here. And now what I wanna do, I wanna cut this in half, this whole row of polygons. So I'm gonna hold control and put one cut in the middle. I'm in smooth preview. So I'm going to see what happens when I move these corners. And I'm noticing that I probably need a little more detail, right? I need more polygons because this is not creating a really nice curvature. So I'm going to hold control and make a cut right here. And let's move these guys. And there you have it. Okay, I'm quickly creating a very smooth shape. I may need, mm, I'm going to see what happens let me zoom in I may need another row right here this looks good so far but if I compress this edge like so notice that I'm able to create a really good curve right here later on I may need another edge loop right here and another one right here but I'm gonna try to do this with the minimum amount of edge loops so I'm gonna move this guy here I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna insert another cut right here so control cut this guy right here and move that corner move this corner right here and notice that we can quickly create a very smooth curved edge that follows our image plane and if your faces are too compressed expand them move them around manually like so I'm gonna go to one pretty much what I'm doing is I'm doing this right here I'm gonna hit three. This curvature looks really good. I'm not gonna worry about this because I'm gonna add an additional edge loop like this here and another one right here so I can get a sharp corner. And I'm gonna hit one. And if I go into object mode, if I go right mouse button object mode and I hit Q for my selection tool and select this shape right here, we've created a polygon. I can hit three and now I can individually move these guys I'm moving my vertices. Now, what happens if we want to continue with a quad draw? It's pretty easy. Select your object, go to quad draw, and notice that we're back. So again, I can do this different ways. I can create, for example, my row of polygons. The better that you get at this, the more you begin to understand, oh, I know how this works. So this right here, if I hold shift, is going to give me a polygon, right? So I can start designing my edge loops by just creating little dots like this. So this guy will go here and then this will go here. So I need two more here. So I'm going to go one and two. So now it's just a matter of doing shift, clicking, 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 clicking. Do the same thing right here, right? Or you can use the other technique, which is holding the tab key and extruding your edges and quickly moving those corners, extrude the edge, move it snap it and then move this guy hit three and look at this we are able to create a really fast shape using this amazing tool the quad draw all right so i'm going to finish this edge right here this looks fine i'm going to try to align this better like so right and now i'm going to use my tap key shortcut so hold tab extrude this edge I'm going to move this guy down like this because I want to create lines that go like this. So tap, hold this edge, snap it right here. Then move your mouse to the corner, move it in. And let's do it again. Okay, this guy's going to go right here. I'm going to extrude this edge, snap it together like so. And here I can do a combination. I'm going to go, well, I'm going to have a quad here which is going to be this one and this one. But here I want a quad that goes from here to here. And then my fourth point is going to be right here. So if I move my mouse inside the whole shift, this is what we're creating. So let's 
make this into a quad, make this into a quad. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to put a dot right here. So it'll be one, two, three, and four. Shift, move this shift, and there you have it. So what I can do right now is I can go to these corners and I'm going to see if I need extra quads right here. Let me move this. No, it looks like I'm getting a really good curvature. All right, if I feel like I need another one, no big deal. Control, cut this. Make sure that you go right here. And there's going to be a little bit of compression that I'm going to fix by moving these points like so. And by adding an additional row, I'm getting a better curve, as you can see right here. Again, what you want to do is make sure that you have those dots evenly space so notice that this dot right here is closer to this one right here so I'm gonna go hit three and I'm gonna move this guy right here push this guy in right undo push this guy in let me hit Q and this is our polygon again I can go back to our vertexes and I can move my vertexes to get a better model or I can do that back into quadro again if you have a shape a polygon shape like this and if you want to continue the quad draw not a big deal go to object mode hit quad draw and just go at it one two three move the mouse inside shift click shift click or tap extrude the edges and when you extrude them move them to the left so that they snap and there you have it hit three and this is how we use the quad draw to create shapes